Hi, welcome to another English episode of the Vrolijke Weber. Today I'll be uh, reviewing the GPRIV 220. It's a fairly new device by Smog. And it has a really fancy touchscreen. You can make all the selections you need via the menu, which works uh, quite intuitively, so it's, uh, it's nice. You can uh, switch to power mode or temperature control mode with the different materials. A few extra settings screen timeout, that kind of thing. And uh, you can set the maximum number of puffs. Well, it has uh, 220 watts out of, uh, gets its power by two 18650 batteries. I'd advise uh, to use strong ones. Uh, yeah, battery life, despite the fact that uh, it has a touch screen, um, I only have to replace the batteries once a day. I've been using it for about 10 days now. and uh, it's, uh, it's a big improvement uh, over the HPRIV. Uh, it seems to hit a little bit harder, which is nice. Uh, I have it at uh, 120 watt in soft mode. Uh, when I used the HPRIV, I usually had it about 130, 135 watts and in uh, normal or hard mode. So, yeah, when I put this one uh, uh, like that, 135 and in uh, hard mode, I did get a few dry hits, so I toned it down a little and uh, yeah, now it's perfect. Um, you can lock the screen by pressing this little button here, which I would advise because before I did that I accidentally hit the up button uh, or up place on the, on the touch screen and it was in uh, a few seconds it's at uh, 220 watts so if you don't have uh, a machine on it that can handle that kind of power you'll definitely burn through your coil. Luckily the TFV8 uh, coils I'm using are good to 260 watts so it wasn't a problem, but still. Yeah, of course, it's a, it's a great combination with the TFV8. It, uh, it can handle the power. Yeah, the one thing I like a little bit less is the fact that they still haven't figured out how to put the vent holes flush on the machine, so they're a bit awkwardly placed. But that's okay. Well, you get uh, in the box all the usual stuff. There's, of course, the warranty card and the warning card for uh, defective batteries. Instruction manual, which I advise to read. And a data cable, which is not for charging the batteries. You should use an external charger for that. Uh, but you can do uh, firmware updates with the cable. Oh, one other thing that's in the package is a nice sleeve, uh, a rubber sleeve for, uh, for the device, um, which I would use because there are some sharp edges on the machine. It doesn't hold that good, but with the sleeve it's, it's perfect. But I'm not using the sleeve at the moment because TFV8 does tend to leak a little bit, so when that happens, uh, it gets under the rubber skin and yeah, it just makes a mess. So now I'm using it without. But if I had another atomizer on it, I'd probably use the sleeve as well. Yeah, what can I say? It's uh, it's my go-to device uh, for the past week or so. Really love the love the device, love the touchscreen, and uh, yeah, it does what it's supposed to do: hit hard and uh, make big clouds.
really does the trick. So if you're in the market for a new device and uh, you want something with uh, 200 watts or more, I can uh, definitely recommend this one. It's, uh, it's my go-to device, as I said. Now I think I'll be using this uh, this a lot the coming uh, coming time. So hey, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye.